Immigration matters a long way from the Kent coast. The country's overrun with people, you know, illegally, you know, illegal coming over. In marginal northern seats like Dewsbury. We need immigration for some sort of sectors in our community. Yeah, but they're bringing more family members over and just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Places that will become an election battleground, where people are watching the government's bold plan to stop the boats. When will the new detention centres be open for business? Well, we already have um, a detention the new estate. Ones. When will they be open for business? We are uh, we are on the we are rolling out new detention spaces to support when the detention pressures. I'm not going to give precise dates because uh, we will have uh, you know we've got uh, logistical uh, challenges that we're always overcoming. Logistics are one thing, but is this bill even legal? Look at this. I'm unable to make a statement that, in my view, this bill is compatible with the European Convention on Human Rights. That's very unusual. Do you think this is going to end up in court? It will certainly end up in the courts because individuals will challenge what the government does. This bill obviously will take a few months to go through Parliament and perhaps the government hopes that this will be in force by the summer. Then there will be challenges and they could take months, even years, to go through the court. The government hopes that simply publishing this bill and talking tough will begin to deter migrants from coming here. Will you break the law to stop the boats? But the Prime Minister may well relish a battle in the courts. Yeah. And with the Labour Party. His position on this is clear. He wanted to, in his words, scrap the Rwanda deal. He voted against measures to deport foreign criminals, Mr Speaker, and he even argued against deportation flights. Well, and we know why, because on this matter, he talked about his legal background. He's just another lefty lawyer standing in our way. All they offer is the same old gimmicks and empty promises. I don't agree with the Home Secretary on very much, but when she says that the Tories are all talk and no action, exactly. she's spot on, isn't she? The government's weak spot is the workability of this plan, but immigration policy is election material, and they sense a weakness in Labour. Behind the scenes, Number 10 are pretty pleased with how the last few days have gone. He's a PM keen to be seen in control, earlier marking International Women's Day as he tries to tackle immigration. In the end, success may be more about the politics than the policy. Ali Fortescue, Sky News, Westminster.